Welcome back, and today I got several new knives to share with y'all. This first one is another community member who designed a knife, and this is uh, being made by Ketio, and this is the Griffin made by designed by David Jin. Um, it's a you know one of those futuristic designs. I kind of thought it had some artisan looking uh, you know flair to it. Got a nice uh, marbled or forged carbon fiber inlay on both sides, milled clip, uh, milled tie, backspacer, integrated lanyard hole, floating backspacer here, M390 blade. Now, I'm not going to go into this one too much because I'm going to be doing the review on this one here soon. I just finished up the testing, but just check that out. Now, I'm not a huge, uh, you know, futuristic looking knife guy. Uh, but I was kind of shocked about this one. So button lock and several different means of deployment. Like I said, we'll talk about it more in the uh, full review. What else? There was another knife with the name Griffin. Uh, the Real Steel. Real Steel Griffin. So that's the first one. Uh, I think these are actually av they're either available now or they're available for pre-order. I'm not sure. Uh, I will put that link to uh, this and all the other knives that are available in the description. But this is the first one, the Ketio Griffin. You know, it's definitely uh, different than what you're normally, you normally see. That's the first one. We have another community member knife, and this one is rather interesting. This right here is the Aurora Knife and Tool Truffles. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna go too far into this one either, because I'm about to uh, post a review on it, but it has good action, Tanto blade, uh, S35 Vian steel, titanium scales, and it's supporting a new locking mechanism. Uh, as you can see right here, this is your lock, and it's called, I think, the roundhouse lock. So, like I said, we're not going to go too far into that one. I just wanted to show these just uh, so you see that they had come in. And I'll save my full thoughts and details about the knife coming here soon in the next probably few days or so. All right. The next one are all knives that I bought. And we'll get started with this guy. Picked this up in my local shop the other day. This is a Microtech Truodon. I had a full-size combat Truodon, but it was a little big for me, and I went with a double edge this time. Not really my thing, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I know, you know, some people, if they're going to buy in out the front, it has to be double edge for that defensive uh, aspect of it. Not really something that I'm going to be using it for, you know, that, that'd be a last-ditch ditch effort. Uh, but you don't see the Trudons that much. You see the Combat Trudons a lot more. And I would have to say it's probably because the size of this, as far as overall length, is very close to the 85. Except the scales are a little bit wider, which I like. And uh, I don't know. It, it seems like this fired out a lot harder than most of the 85s they had. But I love the purple. I would have loved it if they would have had the distressed purple. But what is this? Blade Steel is M390. And yeah, I, d I did see them available um, on a couple of sites. Like I said, if I can find one available still, I will link it. These aren't cheap, of course. Any of the Truodon series are pretty expensive, even the, the Mini, uh, which I have that one as well. But yeah, definitely going to give this one a shot. If y'all want to see a full review and testing of this one, y'all definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, it's definitely a tactical knife. Not, you know, what I usually go for, but, you know, I like trying out new things, and you'll see that in just a second for sure. Um, as you can see, I got some stuff from Blade HQ. I got a Blade HQ sticker here, and they were selling these at Blade, Sh at, uh, Blade Show this year. These are just uh, the uh, De Dessert Warrior dice they, they were selling, and... Um, I was telling my daughter about them, and she was all upset that I didn't pick her up any. And I had planned on it, but I never made it back to the booth. So I saw them up on their site, and I picked her up uh, some of these because I was purchasing some other stuff as well. Uh, these are made by Flytanium Dessert Warrior Dice, and it comes with some stickers. So she's going to be excited about that. I also picked up some of this uh, Wicked Wax. A buddy of mine, Brian, had said uh, to try this out. And uh, 
it, it, he said it's some cool stuff. I got to read into it a little bit more to see what it's all about. But uh, yeah, if y'all want to hear more about this later, y'all let me know. I'll probably do a short on it once I see how well it works and what applications it works for. Uh, and then definitely not something I ever expected. This was an impulse buy, but I picked up a Riot XOK. So it's a, it's a gravity, um, karambit and I'm not going to do any of the flip. I've been working with it. Thank goodness it comes with its own trainer because I am not good with this. I don't even know. I'm going to have to watch Jared's video. I don't even know how you're supposed to, uh, deploy it because I would think you, you, you know, being it's a karambit, you would hold it like this and the way this one's set up, you could hold it like this as well but you know most people hold a crambit like this i would think and yeah i'm definitely gonna have to practice because i'm <laughs> i'll probably never flip that one like like i if i ever get decent at this one i'll probably never flip this one it's still too dangerous probably stay in my truck but this one has a little bit more heft to it because this one is frn i think scales and i don't know what this blade is made of but it's it's a you know I think it's about the same weight as this blade. But this one has more heft because you got G10 on this one, a live blade, and let's see. I got to be super careful. It's a button lock. You got some good grippiness to that G10. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just frightening just to look at, and it does lock in this position. That button releases it, and you get this wicked wicked hawkbill blade. Uh, it's an N N690 steel, and you don't need more than that. This is not, you know, this is not an EDC knife. I mean, I guess you could carry it as an EDC if you want. It'd be kind of silly. I know I wouldn't pull this out, you know, at the store to cut something for sure. <laughs> you would have people running. But I bought it for the channel. You know, I can make some fun videos with it. I could try to learn how to actually use a karambit. I've been working on another, that other karambit for a while. And, you know, some things aren't just, just aren't for some people. And I think crambits might be that for me. Um, I'm not, I guess, ever since my accident, I just don't have the same coordination and hand-eye coordination that I used to. And I fumble a lot. And it's definitely not something you want to fumble with unless you have, like, a trainer like this. Uh, I also like it for its crazy out there factor. You know, I like stuff like that. We have so many knives that are just plain Jane, the same old, same old. And it's cool every once in a while to get something so far out there. And Riot, you know, is up for the task. I don't know. There's not many other companies that could pull off something like this. And uh, they must be pretty popular because they sell out, you know, pretty quick every time they post them. Or at least they did whenever I picked this up. So that's that. Y'all want to see a video of maybe me trying to learn how to use one of these? Y'all let me know. I still plan on putting a video up on that other one that I have. Uh, still, you know, trying to figure out a good application for it. Now, whenever I bought the EXO and the DICE, I spent a certain amount of money and they give you a free knife and it's a new Civivi. And I actually like it. This is the Civivi Centilla, I think it's pronounced. This is a smaller knife, and look, it even has a bow drill divot there, I guess. I don't know. You have a flipper and a thumb stud. You don't see many, many uh, Civivis with thumb studs. So you have the flipper right here. Beautiful stonewashed D2 blade. See, Civivi does such a good job with their stonewash finishes. Why don't they do that more often instead of the blasted stonewash? And uh, it's got the Blade HQ logo on here. Now, I don't know if these were exclusively for blade hq or not um I, I don't know like i said it was just a free gift now if you want to know a size reference here's the uh knife's lander so it's about the same size as the lander it might be a hair longer than lander and here's another civivi the civivi mini praxis so the mini praxis is a small knife and you can see the mini praxis is you know a good bit larger uh, but as you can see, just like the Praxis, you have that forward finger toil. And uh, I can still get my, my four finger grip on it. 
love little big knobs like this. Nice deep carry clip that's tip up left or right hand carry. I still would love to know, is that a bow drill divot right there? <laughs> uh, good, good action. Now I did see there's a new send cut out. I saw it on White Mountain Eyes. I was going to pick it up, but you know, I, I'm kind of swamped right now. My review table is pretty full and I'm, I'm going on a small vacation with my family here and I'm, uh, next Wednesday. So trying to get all my stuff uh, taken care of before I leave so I can have some content for y'all to watch while I'm gone. But yeah, I really like this. If y'all want to see a full review on this one, y'all let me know. I, it, it's going to depend on whether these are uh, available to purchase. I have to go on Blade HQ and see if you can just buy these. I'm not too sure about it. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I just saw it in my cart whenever I checked out as a free gift. So, pretty cool. All right, real quick. I got two new out the fronts that I handled that Blade Show this year. And I was very, very impressed. Um, these are coming from, I think it's TACCOM. Uh you know, I, I, there's a TAC Knives, which I think it's the same company because they have the same little boxes. If somebody knows that, y'all let me know down below because when I email and I'm talking with them through email, it's the link is TACCOM, it's T-A-K-C-O-M dot com, uh, and that's what the link says. And then there's a separate site that's TAC Knives, and, you know, they... I don't know if they're the same or not, but all I know is these are high quality. Some I would have to say, venture to say that this is the best bang for your buck out the front as far as quality goes. Look at that beautiful uh, red G10 inlay. You can get it with, I think, a black G10 inlay as well. They have several different models. I got the gray aluminum. You could also get it in black. Just a standard uh, pocket clip. See, and it's that same logo as Tac Knives, so I, I don't know. And I'm guessing those little holes is if you wanted to put a lanyard there. But the action on these things, yummy. I'm not usually a Tanto fan, but in, I, I like this one with the inlay. I just thought it looked different, and that's all they had is Tanto. Now you can get it coated, not coated. It's a very well done Tanto. And it's in, CP, I mean, it's in 154 CM. Very clean satin finish. And the action on this thing is very, very nice. My particular, this one is, has better action than my Axial Gear Shift. It's just a very clean break. I had no failure so far, and I flipped this thing probably a thousand times. Now this, this one and this one I will be doing a, uh, a full review on. This is the Vigor V2, I'm pretty sure. And I think it comes in at like $169. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. Now, this is a little California legal one that they offer, and it's a little chub chubby one, but I think this one's probably my favorite. You know, I love this one. I think uh, if, if this one had the same blade shape as this one, it would be a, a toss-up. This is a better EDC size. I love that they don't have a glass breaker on it because they don't all have to have glass breakers. Now, they do offer some with glass breakers. This one has uh, really nice carbon fiber inlays, and that it's real carbon fiber. Aluminum frame. I like the pocket clip with the standoffs. You also have those inlays on the backside. Now, this particular one is made by Best Tech Forum. I, I want to say this one might be too. I'm not certain about it. I do remember him saying it, and it's on the blade on this one. This one, you can get it in this Warren Cliff blade. And you can, I don't know if it was a Tanto or a Spear Point, one of the two. But I love the way this one looks. Nice stone wash finish. And they have their logo right there. And you can see the Best Tech logo here. 154CM. Nice sharpening choil. Beautiful action. This, just look at this. California Legal, because of the size of the blade, is under 3 inches. And the thickness and the, the scales on this one really fill out my hand nicely. I can get, I can still get a four finger grip on this. So I could do some EDC tasks. This would be a great EDC knife if you want an out the front EDC. Like I said, I will be doing my full testing and review of both of these. 
Let me know which one of these you like the, the most. And I'm telling you, that's one good thing about Blade Show. I get to actually handle the knives, and I probably wouldn't have checked these out if I wouldn't have handled them because they feel that that quality feeling. Like I said, if you like axial knives, I think these might have a, a leg up on them as far as, you know, the action goes for sure. I don't know about the the steel yet. I will be testing it, but Best Act does an excellent job, so I have no issues thinking about this one being great. I'll have to ask him if this one's also made by Best Act. So there you go. That's most of the new knives that I got in recently. This is basically not, you know, being that I, I unboxed them on shorts. I still wanted to, for whoever didn't see those shorts, I wanted to, uh, you know, let y'all see what's coming on the channel. Um, let me know what y'all would like to see a review on first. This, <laughs> it might not be the, the uh, Riyadh XOK because I got to, you know, I got to spend a good bit of time with this bad boy before I try to review it. Um, and... These two reviews will be coming shortly, probably in the next day or two. Um, the Truffles by Aurora Knife and Tool and the Ketio uh, Griffin. And we also have the Microtech Trudon. All right, guys and girls, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Persha.